Gran Turismo 5 is the fifth game in the Gran Turismo racing video game series. Developed by Polyphony Digital and published by Sony Computer Entertainment, it was released for PlayStation 3 on November 24, 2010. It expands on the game's prologue version and is the first entry of the series to be developed for PlayStation 3. As of 2013, it is currently one of the best-selling PS3 games and the best-selling PS3 exclusive with over 10 million copies sold. The game marks the first entry in the series with online races with support for up to 16 players. A damage model has been included with variations of damage depending on whether the vehicle falls into the standard or premium category. Over 1,000 cars, 26 different locations, and 71 different tracks are available in the game. Night Racing also returns. World Rally Championship, NASCAR and Super GT licenses are utilized for the first time in the Gran Turismo series. Gameplay equals new features equals Gran Turismo 5 is the first game in the franchise to provide a damage model with variations of damage depending on whether a vehicle is a standard or premium car. The game also features weather effects, however they are only available on certain circuits. Optional stereoscopic 3D resolution and karting found a place in the game. Furthermore, new visual effects have been introduced, including dynamic skid marks, dust and the ability for drivers to flash their headlights. A course editor which allows the player to create new circuits by using tools that randomly generate track parts according to certain player-selected specifications, including the number of corners, the time of day and the number of sectors. There are a variety of themes the player can choose from to act as a base for each circuit design. Themes also have an effect on track length and highest elevation. A physics is significantly revised compared with GT4. Cars no longer instantly turn in but realistically must load up the outside wheel first, and destabilizing effects of greater influence. Gran Turismo 5 is the first game in the franchise to include both mechanical and external damage modeling, including a real-time deformation engine that will process model deformation according to the speed and angle of impact. It is also possible to overturn cars for the first time in the series. The cars in GT5 are separated into standard and premium vehicles. Standard vehicles have a less detailed damage model with dirt, scratches and dents appearing on the car in the event of an accident. In addition, standard cars initially could not receive aftermarket wheels, among other aesthetic upgrades, such as wheel paint. However, as of the version 2.02 update this is no longer the case. Premium vehicles feature a slightly more advanced damage model. Gran Turismo 2 previously included damage, but was limited to mechanical failures only. Equals tracks equals. Gran Turismo 5 allows players to drive 31 different locations or scenery, and 81 different track layouts. Dunsfold Aerodrome, located in the United Kingdom a Euro the test track of the British automotive television show Top Gear a Euro is included in the game. The playable demo of Gran Turismo 5 at Gamescom 2009 featured the Tokyo Route 246 track, seen in previous incarnations of the game. Various real-life circuits return from previous games in the series. These include NA 1 Quarter Rubergring, Circuit de la Sarth, Tsukiba Circuit, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca and Suzuka Circuit. New real-life circuits included in the game include Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Monza Circuit, Daytona International Speedway and two new Rome and Madrid City circuits. Many fictional circuits return from previous games in the series including Trial Mountain, Deep Forest Raceway and Autumn Ring. An official list of all tracks available in the game has been released by Polyphony Digital. Unfortunately, a glitch was discovered on the Nürburgring track that allowed players to finish a lap or race faster than normal. By accelerating against any gap between walls, the player could take a short cut through the track and since there was absolutely no collision detection beyond the walls, the player could race his way through the scenery and under the paved course and return to the finish line to complete the lap or the race by driving directly beneath the line in the direction of the intended racing path, as if he she had driven across the entire track. Other tracks known for glitching are Special Stage Route 7, Daytona International Speedway, 
and Laguna Seca. All glitches were fixed within the first few weeks they were found. Also, the online server disallows glitching by resetting the car that has tried to glitch back on the track. Downloadable tracks, the track pack downloadable content, includes Circuit de Spa Frankel Champs and Kart Space I2. On January 17, 2012, Polyphony Digital released the speed test pack that includes Special Stage Route X. On June 2012, Twin Ring Mochi returned to the series as DLC after the 2012 GT Academy. Equals vehicles equals. Gran Turismo 5 provides a total of 1,088 cars. Lamborghini and Bugatti make their first home console appearance in the franchise, following their introduction in Gran Turismo PSP, and it has been confirmed the new Gullwing Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG will appear, along with the Ferrari 458 Italia and the Lexus LFA supercar. McLaren will also make their first appearance as a native manufacturer with the inclusion of the McLaren F1 road car, the F1 GT Race Edition, and the MP4-12C road car Le Mans spec cars will make a return appearance. Hybrids were previously included in Gran Turismo 4 with the Toyota Prius and the Honda Insight. At the 2009 Tokyo Game Show, Yamauchi mentioned that the latest hybrid and electric cars will be included including the Tesla Roadster and Mitsubishi Army EV. At Gamescom 2010, it was also revealed that GT5 will include the Jaguar XJ13 race car prototype, as well as the Ferrari 330p4 and the Ford Mark IV race cars, and as the developers put it, will allow players to create the race that never came to be, since the XJ13 program was cancelled before the car was ready for competition. Additionally, in association with Red Bull Racing, the development team worked on a new prototype car called the X2010 prototype, which was designed with the idea of, if you build the fastest racing car on land, one that throws aside all rules and regulations, what would that car look like, how would it perform, and how would it feel to drive? This car was worked on by Polyphony Digital and Red Bull's aerodynamics expert, Adrian Newey, and is one of the cars in the game. Up to 16 cars or 32 carts will be able to race on track at once whereas previous installments allowed only 6 cars per race max. Polyphony Digital released the official vehicle list which also shows which vehicles will be standard or premium. The cars in GT5 are separated into two categories, standard and premium. Standard cars are imported models from GT4 and GT PSP, they have lower polygon counts and texture resolution standard headlights and basic damage modeling. In addition, after the Spec 2.0 update they feature simplified interior camera views. For open-topped cars, they have a functioning steering wheel and working gauges. Premium cars are cars modeled for GT5 and thus have higher polygon counts, high texture resolution, feature headlights capable of high and low beams, detailed interior camera views, and detailed damage models. Premium cars also have working windshield wipers which are operated on tracks with rain or snow. Around 20% of all cars in the game fall into the premium category. Premium cars also allow for vast customization, including, aerodynamic kits, engine tune-ups, weight reduction, etc. Standard cars are also able to have modifications such as weight reductions and tune-ups. Since Update 2.02 Appropriate standard cars are also able to change their rims, a feature only previously seen on premium cars. Classic sports cars are also a distinctive feature in GT5. Classics such as the Triumph Spitfire, Mini Marcos and Alfa Romeo Spider have also been added. However, some of the interiors of these cars have not been able for Sony to fully replicate for license reasons and other matters. Alongside this, some commercial vehicles have unusually been added to the game. Vehicles such as the Volkswagen Type 2 and the Volkswagen Schweinwagen have been added to the game. Downloadable cars, in the Spec 2.0 update, there is the number 71 Schulze Motorsport Nissan GTO which Kazanari Yamauchi drove in the 2011-24 hours of NAR one quarter Rebergring and the new stock car designs of the 2011 NASCAR season. In the new racing car pack DLC, 
There are 40 new touring cars that are based on cars in the game like the Honda CLZ and the Toyota Prius. Also, there is a newer version of the Red Bull X2010 called the X2011. On December 20, 2011, Polyphony Digital released Car Pack 2, which features two new Volkswagen vehicles, the Golf and Sirocco R, the new 2012 Nissan GTR Black Edition and the 2011 Mini Cooper S. On January 9, 2012, PD has released a concept video for the upcoming Acura NSX for the North American International Auto Show. However, Kazanari did not state any information about the NSX's DLC release. The week after, Polyphony released Car Pack 3 together with the Speed Test Pack, which includes the Lamborghini Aventador, Aston Martin V12 Vantage, Nissan Leaf, Mini Countryman, Volkswagen Beetle and a premium Jaguar XJR9. On June 2012, a free DLC release added a new car, the Scion FRS, a variant model of the Toyota 86 and Scion's first vehicle to appear as a premium model. On September 25, 2012, Update 2.08 brought three new cars, the Honda Wedder HSV 0111 Super GT car, the Subaru BRZ, and the Nissan GTR N24 GT Academy 12 car, which participated in the 2012 24 Hours NAR 1 quarter Rebergering. In November 28, the new 2014 Chevrolet Corvette C7 prototype was released as a free DLC. On January 15, 2013, the Chevrolet Corvette C7 final prototype was released as another free DLC. Development the game was first revealed at E3 2005 under the name Vision Gran Turismo. This was not GT5 as we know it today but simply Gran Turismo 4 with more cars on track and PC rendered footage. The PlayStation 3 would not be released until November 11, 2006 and with no Gran Turismo game in the console's launch lineup. Various bits of information and news was revealed about the game from then on but it was not for another three years that the public got a chance to have a proper look at GT5. At Sony's E3 2009 press conference, a trailer for Gran Turismo 5 was shown, revealing the inclusion of Super GT, NASCAR and WSC but no release date was revealed. In an interview with Eurogamer, Yamalchi said that we've actually reached a point where we can probably release GT5. Any time, except that you can also keep working as long as you want to as well, it's just a matter of timing. However, in an interview with Auto Express in April 2010, Yamalchi explained that, deciding a release date for a game is always difficult, as e to Euro unregistered trademark s not something I can decide on my own. The agreement on a date comes between various parties at Sony, and e to Euro unregistered trademark s not necessarily a date I would be hoping for. March would have been too early. We could have produced the game in time to make that deadline, but the finished product wouldn't have had everything that I want to include. Sony Computer Entertainment has certain control over the release dates of their games, this could be one of the contributing factors delaying Gran Turismo 5. It has been announced that users will be able to output HD replays onto YouTube. Gran Turismo 5 was shown off extensively at E3 2010 including a new trailer, a North and Latin American release date, playable demos on the show floor and various private press conferences revealing new information about the game. Alongside the original release, two collector's editions will be released. One featuring some extra bonus content and the other, more expensive option containing extra paraphernalia such as further reading on car racing. Overall. Gran Turismo 5 took more than five years to complete, with a total cost estimated at approximately $60 million. The first game in the series had also taken five years. All downloadable contents were removed from sale on April 30, 2014. However, as of September 2014, they are become available again, at least in Europe. The paint pack and racing gear pack wouldn't be re-downloadable if the Savagim is deleted after the date. However a patch was eventually released to address that issue. The online servers were shut down on May 30, 2014. On April 29, 2014 Sony announced the final online event for Gran Turismo 5, which started on April 30, 2014 and ended with a shutdown of the online servers.
players were awarded with five cars in Gran Turismo 6 for participating in the event. Equals time trial demo and 2010 GT Academy equals, the GT5 time trial demo was released on December 17, 2009 on the PlayStation Network. It was only playable while the user was signed into the PlayStation Network. It was not so much a demo of GT5 itself, but actually the first part of the 2010 GT Academy, with the fastest drivers from the time trial eventually getting the chance to drive a real racing car in a real racing series. Nevertheless, it showed what progress had been made since Polyphony Digital's latest game, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue in terms of graphics, physics and other aspects of gameplay and design. It featured stock and tuned versions of the Nissan 370Z. The track featured in the demo was the Indianapolis GP circuit, which is new to the Gran Turismo series. This demo was praised for its graphics and updated physics, however it has been criticized for its stiff camera, and confusion over what aspects of the final game the demo represents. The time trial demo is no longer playable now that the 2010 GT Academy is complete. Equals 2011 GT Academy equals, on November 16, 2010, it was revealed that the GT Academy would return for a third year, this time for drivers in the USA GT Academy is a three-phase competition with the winner being trained and enrolled as a professional racing driver in preparation for a major race event next year. A reality TV show on sports channel Speed will chronicle the competition. The preliminary virtual rounds will be a test of driver skill in Gran Turismo 5 using pre-selected Nissan vehicles and all entrants will receive free digital content for playing. The top 32 drivers will then be invited to a live GT5 National Finals, with the 16 leading players taken to the GT Academy Boot Camp. The second round of the competition was scrapped due to the widespread use of cheating. Sony and Polyphony Digital have confirmed that the Gran Turismo 5 Academy events will be available for European players to participate in from March 4, 2011. Equals GT Academy 2012 equals Equals GT Academy 2013 equals Equals Song Track Naming Competition equals At E3 2010, a new trailer was shown revealing various aspects about GT5 including a release date. The song used for the trailer was by Japanese composer Daki Kasho. Many fans wanted to know the name of the song, but it was untitled. Polyphony Digital recognized this and started a competition open to all fans around the world, to submit a name for the song. The winner would have their name immortalized in Gran Turismo 5's credits and their title become the official name of the music track. The winner was chosen by series creator Kazunori Yamauchi out of 5,444 entries, it was 50 ULOND. Splay submitted by a fan from Argentina. Equals other peripherals equals, Yamauchi said in an interview with Edge that Gran Turismo 5 could have some compatibility with the PlayStation Portable version. He said, in an interview with G4, that we Euro unregistered trademark re going to make it so that you can actually export the cars for the PSP version into Gran Turismo 5, so you can export your garage. The game was reported by media in September 2009 to allow head tracking using the PlayStation I, though no official confirmation came in the following months. This feature would allow the player to move their head naturally while sitting down, upright, and have the view around the 3D cockpit change accordingly. Officially announced in conjunction with Toyota in January 2010 is a GPS-based device which, when loaded into the game, will create a ghost lap of a run through a race circuits in real life if equipped for data recording, allowing someone to view a race against their real-life driving. Naturally, this would only be available for tracks which exist in real life, there is no information on which or how many circuits in total will support the feature. Equals multiple screens equals the game supports up to six different views that can be presented on six or more PS3 consoles. Two left views, two right views, server view and a front view without any dials all can be duplicated on an extra PS3 console if they are on the same LAN. Equals updates equals, despite series creator Kazunori Yamauchi expressing his distaste for further development on the game after release, the game has been updated and expanded several times in its lifespan. 
many of the updates have improved the multiplayer racing, including weight and power restrictions on which cars can be driven in an online session, a car performance rating system, handicaps such as ballast and engine restriction, mechanical damage, and the ability to use the built-in course maker in online multiplayer races. Physics updates have not been documented in the update logs, however many users have noted changes to the physics once updates are installed. Other updates have included additional events, an online car dealership, removal of the copy protection for saved games, friend rankings, and various adjustments to the rewards and restrictions in the game. The final update was released on May 31, 2014 which permanently disabled all online features such as online play and seasonal events. On July 21, 2014 another patch was released, which removed the online requirement for installing the downloadable content after the servers went offline. Equals spec 2.0 in DLC equals, through his Twitter account, Kazamari Yamauchi, head of Polyphony Digital, confirmed that during the third week of October a new update would be available for Gran Turismo 5, called Spec 2.0. Spec 2.0 was released on October 11, 2011, which featured 11 new NASCAR vehicles, the ability to save during endurance races, weather intensity control and AI improvements. Along with the release of Spec 2.0, Kazamari Yamauchi also announced that four DLC packs would be available on October 18, 2011. These packs would feature 15 new vehicles, two new tracks, 20 new driver costumes and 100 new paint colors. The packs were released on October 18. The North American release was delayed until October 25. PD stated that all following DLC packs would be released in a two-month time frame. A second car pack was released on December 20, 2011, that features four new vehicles, the Mini Cooper S, Volkswagen Golf 6R, Volkswagen Sirocco R and the Nissan GT-R Black Edition. A third downloadable content pack with the track Route X, and a third car pack including Nissan Leaf G 2011, Aston Martin V12 Vantage 2010, Volkswagen Beetle 1200 1966, Jaguar XJR9 Lumina Race Car 1988, Lamborghini Aventador LP 700 4 2011, and the Mini Cooper S Countryman 2011. All released on January 17, 2012. GT Academy was released on May 1, 2012, as a free standalone title on the PlayStation Network as a collaboration between Nissan and Polyphony Digital. A key feature was the ability to unlock exclusive Academy cars for use in Gran Turismo 5 as well as a special racing suit for anyone who completed all challenges. The rewards for the game were handed out on July 4. A fourth downloadable content pack featuring Twin Ring Mochi along with a free Scion FRS was released on June 26, 2012. A fifth pack added three individual cars, a Honda Wedder HSV 0111 Super GT car, the Subaru BRZ, and the Nissan GT-R N24 GT Academy 12 race car. It was released on September 25, 2012. A free DLC with Corvette C7 test prototype was released on November 28, 2012. A free DLC with the Corvette C7 final prototype was released on January 15, 2013, revealing the Corvette C7's body and interior. As of May 2014, all downloadable content has been permanently removed from PlayStation Store. However, it eventually returned on November 2014, exclusively in Europe. A new cumulative package which contains all the aforementioned content was released sometime on Spring 2015, for a 26, 99. Equals music equals. The game is capable of 7.1 channel surround sound in PCM as well as optionally using songs from the player's hard drive. Several categories of licensed music are available for the game's racing, menu screens, and the photo mode. These include, alternative rock, dance, classical, jazz lounge. Equals online play equals, Gran Turismo 5 also featured an online mode. Players would meet in lounges or race rooms and give away cars, car parts and trained AI drivers to friends. They could also share game pictures and design tracks. 
all online activity closed on May 20, 2014. However, a special event was held from April 30 to May 30 that allowed players to unlock five additional cars for Gran Turismo 6. Marketing Gran Turismo 5's marketing campaign started on November 18, 2010 with a TV commercial featuring the fictional marketing character Kevin Butler as part of Sony Computer Entertainment's It Only Does Everything advertising campaign for their video game products in North America. The commercial depicts Butler as the VP of Ad More Awesome explaining how he made Gran Turismo 5 more awesome by adding more features that were previously thought impossible. At the October 2010 Australian International Motor Show, Toyota hosted a 24-hour PlayStation 3 GT5 endurance race, a recreation of the 24 hours NAR one quarter Rebergring, with a total of 48 drivers split into two teams, racing virtual interpretations of the Toyota 486G sports concept for a full day and night. On November 14, 2010 it was revealed that Sony had teamed with Swiss watchmaker Tissot to host the official countdown timer for the launch of Gran Turismo 5. To promote the relationship, Tissot gave away one customized, GT5 edition Tissot PRS 516, every day up until the release date. In February 2011, a real version of the polyphony digital design Citroën NGT was floated by the Rialto Bridge in Venice recreating a location in Gran Turismo 4. Equals retail editions equals, alongside the standard edition of the game, there are nine other versions of the game exclusive to certain countries and or regions around the world. All of the special edition versions of the game are sold in limited quantities and include a copy of the game as standard. The collector's edition is available in North America, Europe and Asia. The North American Collector's Edition includes a retail version of the game, a custom etched keychain, a 143 scale model of a Nissan GTO with exclusive livery, a 300 page Apex book with hints on driving technique, car tuning, future technologies, and more, an e voucher for five unique Chrome Line Edition cars, and a certificate of authenticity. The European Collector's Edition includes a retail version of the game, a 300-page Apex book with hints on driving technique, car tuning, future technologies and more, an e-voucher for five unique Chrome Line Edition cars, an exclusive GT5 dynamic theme and a certificate of authenticity. The Signature Edition is exclusive to Europe, Australia and New Zealand. It includes a retail version of the game, a steel case finished in obsidian black, a coffee table book that details the cars and locations in GT5, a 300-page Apex book with hints on driving technique, car tuning, future technologies and more, a Gran Turismo branded wallet containing a competition entry card giving one person the opportunity to win a real Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG car, a GT branded USB pen drive containing an exclusive GT5 dynamic theme and a polyphony digital Mercedes-Benz exclusive trailer, a custom etched keychain, a 143 scale Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG model in an exclusive livery, an e-voucher for six unique stealth edition cars and an e-voucher for five unique Chrome Line edition cars. The Japanese and Asian racing pack is a bundle which includes a retail version of the game and a 300-page Apex book with hints on driving technique, car tuning, future technologies and more bundled with a titanium blue PlayStation 3 console with a titanium blue DualShock 3 controller. The console will be equipped with a 160GB hard drive. In Europe is a bundle includes a retail version of the game and 300-page Apex book with hints on driving, car tuning, future technologies and more, an e-voucher for five unique Chrome Line Edition cars, an exclusive GT5 dynamic theme a certificate of authenticity bundled with a charcoal black PlayStation 3 console and a charcoal black DualShock 3 controller. The console is equipped with a 320GB hard drive. The Gran Turismo 5 XL Edition, a new edition of the game, was released on January 17, 2012. This version includes the original retail version of the game, along with a Spec 2.0 update already installed plus vouchers for the game's DLC that was released in 2011. This version also has an alternative box art, instead of the Le Mans red Mercedes SLS AMG, the same car is now painted silver, 
and the inside cover features two screenshots of the Red Bull X 2011 race car, which can be flipped and used as the front box cover. A new edition of the game which was released on September 26, 2012, the Gran Turismo 5, Academy Edition is the latest version of the original GT5 game. It included all the functionality updates and new content that has been made available since the launch. It also comes with a voucher for all the DLC, with the exception of, Twin Ring Mochi Pack, Honda Weather HSV 0111, Corvette C7 Test Prototype 12, 2014 Corvette Stingray Final Prototype, Scion FRS 12, Subaru BRZS 12, and the free family upgrades for the Track Pack and Racing Car Pack. Equals release equals. After promising that GT5 would be released in 2010 after missing its initial March 2010 Japanese release date, Sony announced at E3 2010 that Gran Turismo 5 would be officially launched in North and Latin America on November 2, 2010, in Europe and Japan on November 3, 2010 and in Australia on November 4, 2010. However, it was later revealed that the game would not meet its November release date and would instead be released later in the holiday season. Sony producer Takuo Masaki said that the reason for the delay was that series creator Kazuma Yamauchi and Polyphony Digital want to make certain they are creating the perfect racing experience. In addition, the Sony spokesman Makago Noda said that the reason of the delay was due to production reasons. However Sony stated that the game would be released before Christmas, 2010. The actual reason for the delay turned out to be on the production side. Gran Turismo 5 missed its production window by three days. Kazuma Yamauchi publicly apologized via his Twitter account and explained that with such a complex game, a lot has to be ironed out. He finished his tweet with, wait a little longer. It was later claimed by a Blu-ray forum moderator that the delay was due to Sony's decision to release the game under the newer 3.50 SDK firmware standard, rather than 3.41 as originally intended. While at the Speciality Equipment Market Association show on November 2, 2010, Yamauchi confirmed to automotive blog Jalapnik that GT5 had entered final production for release. After weeks of speculation, it was officially announced that Gran Turismo 5 would be released on November 24 for Asia, North America and Europe and November 25 for Japan and Australia. Reception Gran Turismo 5 was met with a generally positive reaction from game critics. It received an aggregated score of 84.33% on game rankings and 84-100 on Metacritic. Reviewers praised the number of cars, car-specific information and commented positively on the driving physics which had been improved from Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. The inclusion of carts as well as licensed World Rally Championship and NASCAR vehicles was also received positively. The graphics received mixed reviews with reviewers praising the lighting effects as well as interior and exterior details of premium cars, stating that photo mode showed off their detailed graphical design very well, but commented negatively on the detail of standard cars which lacked cockpit views looked like upscaled versions taken from Gran Turismo 4 and did not keep up to the level of detail found in the premium models. GT5 has been criticized for frame rate drops and screen tearing. The problems are most noticeable when many cars are on screen with rain or smoke visible. The newly included damage feature received criticism for having limited effect on car performance. The AI was also criticized for still making CPU drivers break unexpectedly and not being aware of the player's car on the track, just as in previous games in the series. IGN called it the series now trademark zombie AI. The game's sound was praised. Arnold Katev, reviewer of PSX Extreme, stated that Gran Turismo 5 actually sounds fantastic. Having sampled a number of cars in the game that I either own, drive frequently, or have driven numerous times before, I verified how they all sound. My 350Z sounded pitch perfect as you start it up upon selecting it. Same goes for my 370Z, it sounds spot on. Even a bunch of the standard cars sounded good, and sound even better with a few exhaust mods, while Tweaktown said that some cars just sounding flat when you feel they shouldn't a Euro unregistered trademark T.
and others just sending a shiver up your spine as you hit readline. Gaming Reality awarded the sound 9-10, stating that the sounds are clear, crisp, and distinct. The engine sounds are great and make you feel like the car is actually near you. The engine sounds on premium cars change when you make adjustments to it just like in real life. Equal sales equals, in the UK, the chain's gamma station and game between them opened around 100 stores at midnight on the day of release, so that customers could buy the game ahead of their normal 9am EB games and JB Hi-Fi in Australia did the same thing. The game was the multi-format number one for the week, despite only having been on sale for two days. In Japan, Gran Turismo 5 debuted in the software chart at number one, and this helped PS3 console sales more than double for the week ending November 28, 2010. As of March 2013, Gran Turismo 5 sold over 10 million units. For 13 days, 423,000 copies of the game were sold per day. Gran Turismo 5 was the best-selling video game for the PlayStation 3 until 2013 when it was beaten by Grand Theft Auto V. The Gran Turismo series as a whole has now totaled more than 65 million units sold so far worldwide and remains the highest-selling PlayStation-exclusive franchise of all time. According to Polyphony Digital, Gran Turismo 5 shifted 6.37 million units between its launch in November and the end of 2010. As of September 2012, Sony shipped 9.19 million units of Gran Turismo 5. Despite a late release in 2010, Gran Turismo 5 managed to become the seventh best-selling PlayStation 3 title in the US, making the game the second best-selling exclusive of the year. Gran Turismo 5 also became the best-selling PlayStation 3 exclusive in Europe, including UK. Sales have exceeded 10 million units, this was announced during the 15th anniversary event at Silverstone, held on May 15, 2013. The game holds the record for the longest chart run for a racing game. Equals Awards Equals, Golden Joystick Awards 2011, Best Racing Game. Celebrity Appearances, four-time NASCAR Cup champion Jeff Gordon appears in the game as a mentor to the player, guiding them in the skills of slipstreaming specific to the sport. Nine-time Rally World Champion Zar Copyright Bastian Loeb and four-time F1 World Champion Sebastian Vettel appear in similar roles in their portions of the game, providing advice and encouragement in a series of challenges. Other cars in the game are named after rally driver Tommy Markarency Kinnan, drivers Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch, and personalities Shvichi Shigeno and Jay Leno. Voiceovers were recorded by Justin Bell, Tony Jardine and Robert Reed. One of the game's testers, listed in the credits, was Tomu Sports Porsche racing driver Takashi Oe. On September 5, 2011, Martin Brundle and Jonathan Ligard commentated on a race between David Coulard, driving a real Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG around the Top Gear test track, and six leading Gran Turismo players, racing on a console at Mercedes-Benz World. Coulard won, with Jason Burt trailing by half a second. Reggie Yates, Pollyanna Woodward and Mike Bushell also took part in the race, but did not qualify for the leaderboard. Coolard's lap was subsequently available to download for players to race against. In partnership with Alpine Stars, a downloadable pack released in October 2011 features replica helmets and overalls worn by drivers such as Tony Stewart, Jimmy Johnson, Peter Solberg, Mikko Hervonen and The Stig. In January 2013, Johnny Herbert mentored six players in a primetime ITV4 reality series, with the aim of taking them to the Dubai 24-hour race as real drivers. Other countries in Europe had heats mentored by drivers Vitantonio Luzzi and Tsar copyright Bastian Bumi. See also Lucas or de Cube de Plus or Minus is, a real-life racing driver who was selected by Nissan after winning the GT Academy. Jordan Tresson another real-life racing driver who won the GT Academy. Jan Mardenborough, a British racing driver who won GT Academy and went on to compete in series such as British GT, Toyota Racing Series and FIA European Formula 3 Championship. Sim Racing References External links, official website, community forum www.gtarina.com 
Community Forum www.theatomotivamahem.com, Community Forum www.ctplanet.net.